With the permission of the President and with the permission of the good sponsor, may I ask a few questions, sir? Willingly, Mr. President. Thank the, you. This uh, is just a few questions, mostly common sense, actually. The Human Rights Commission is a guardian of, uh, uh, against abuses of constitutional rights about individuals that are being uh, abused or killed or imprisoned. Uh, and we get a lot of flack from all over the world because of that. We in the Senate, we take a very independent view of that. Uh, certainly when we're attacked by uh, other legislators, uh, we get very upset because most of the time I think they're being goaded by certain personalities to, to make an attack. Not, not to protect the administration, but I just feel that we are independent of any other country. And if we do that to the United States, if we do that to Europe, there will be an awful lot of instances where we can go against them as well. But only because we are a small country uh, that has very limited economic clout, it will not get the headlines. Would you agree with that? Yes, I agree with that, uh, Mr. President. Now, having said that, Your Honor, there are things that, however, that I think we can win. I know that there are many things that are happening in our country, and if I may uh, request the President to please chastise my inaanak, the majority of our leader, to keep quiet, I would be appreciative, Your Honor. You see, we value human rights here. Uh, having said that, Your Honor, uh, we can actually concentrate on certain things. Uh, sometimes there is the general tendency on the part of our armed forces, our police, to be very defensive when people are killed. I have, uh, I don't want to go into that but because I, I don't want to make it appear that we're raising our seat here. But I do take exception to the fact that this representation counts the number of killings, especially by motorcycle riding guns. And I can tell you that today, 408 has been counted. This is just media, sir. Media, radio, we don't ask the police, because I think the police has a lot more in terms of motorcycle killings, and we're not even counting crimes. Yes. So I take umbrage about that because I think the people have a right to be safe when they go out. Their belongings, their purses, that's the very least. No? But to be killed, judges are killed. Sometimes even teachers are killed. Policemen are killed. Government employees are killed. Ordinary citizens are killed. They have a right to life and to be protected. Isn't that so, Your Honor? And having said that, if they have a right indeed, shouldn't we bear down on the fact that there a law has been created, and I, again, I'm going to, at the risk of being accused that I'm trying to peddle or, uh, my, my bill, no? which I think makes an awful lot of sense. Uh, the bill has been approved even before the close of last year's uh, Congress, and we're now almost Christmas, and the LTO has not acted on it, and I've already warned them. In fact, I'm going to subject them to possible Blue Ribbon investigation if they don't act. Uh, and since that time, scores of people have been killed by motorcycle riding gunmen. What is the position of the Commission on Human Rights on this? Because I hardly hear them. They continue to investigate vigilante killings, um, Mr. President. In fact, they have a figure here, 1,083 from May 10, 2016 to November 2019. So it's even bigger? Over three period. Uh. Over three period. Well, yeah, I suppose that's correct, no? because we have over 400. No? But does the Human Rights Commission ever take it up uh, with the authorities instead of talking about, oh, uh, you know, there's always these killings uh, that are being perpetrated at Commission? I, I think I'm... And I don't get me wrong, I am amazed at the fact that our people take in a lot of killings of alleged drug perpetrators, and frankly, they don't care. The, the ratings of the president remain high. But those are small folks, uh, drug pushers. We don't see big drug leaders being killed. And yet, ang lakas pa rin ng Pangulo, 
wishes, perhaps. He's saying what people want to hear. Do you get that impression, sir? Probably yes, Mr. President. Now, at least insofar as drugs is concerned, the President succeeded in telling the whole country that drugs is the enemy and we have a war on it. He describes a war. A war is a license to kill enemies uh, of the state in a war, right? And I don't think, although war is being utilized, there is no uh, common enemy that we can see. There are striated, dispersed individuals called drug lords who peddle, or for that matter, even kids who have no income will be victims of this war. Sometimes they will be killed, and I'm glad that uh, it was the committee of Senator Lakson who was able to solve that problem uh, on that young man who was killed in Caloocan. Kian de Los Santos. Kian, and uh, uh, people uh, have been arrested. Convicted already. Yes, convicted. And to me, that is a point upon which I would address myself to the Human Rights Commission, that if you press a little harder on getting a little more evidence and getting the uh, trust of the people, instead of being regarded as a, a talking head for the opposition, and I don't think you are that, but you're, getting, you're beginning to have that because they're getting data and sometimes human rights organizations who peddle themselves as international human rights organizations, it's a license to attack and viciously savage our country's reputation. But it has been proven na kung meron tayong mga tao na magharap ng testi testimonyo, mauhuli natin yan. At pag uh, nilabas natin ng ebidensya, mauhuli. Uh, I think the Blue Ribbon, Blue Ribbon investigations have been, uh, uh, the staff and the whole Senate have been exemplary in making sure that we get people as high as uh, immigration commissioners who are now in jail, uh, even uh, smugglers, or for that matter, even a couple of colonels who are now on the lam uh, tumatago because sila ang pinagbibintangan na nahuli namin na naglabas ng madalaking droga do sa Cavite at saka do sa Customs. But we, we were able to generate evidence against them. But I don't see that happening in the CHR. You investigate, pero wala ata kayo nakukuhang testigo. Because masyadong natatakot ang tao na baka papatayin sila. Hindi ba dapat manindigan ang Commission on Human Rights? Papanindigan namin yan pag lumapit kayo. We will support you. We will get the Senate to support you. Para sa ganun, talagang there is a rule of law that is ongoing. Di ba? Or am I being naive? Well, they have their own witness protection program and they uh, provide uh, assistance, you know, even financial assistance uh, and other resources. This is apart from what the DOJ has you know, under the witness, yung WPP yes. ng DOJ. But it seems that you have to try harder. You know, one time uh, you were here... Uh, I just become the Justice Committee Chair, and you had all these people covered in uh, uh, their faces. No, that's incendiary, as far as I'm concerned. Because when we had a witness here against against the prisoner, against uh, prison officials, they came here. We provided them with bulletproof vests, and they came out. And this is an encouragement to people that if they come out, they will be protected by the government. Wouldn't that be a better uh, procedure, Your Honor? I, I don't know. Maybe there's something incendiary about covering heads as if there mga descamisados na pinapatay yung, yung, as, as incendiary as that, or for that matter, people in masks, no? Yung fear factor pa rin, talagang when it comes into play, medyo mahirap talaga mag-convince, Mr. President. Yes, sir. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was heading towards that. Because aren't we encouraging the fear factor even more? Aren't we going to the schools and saying, we created a democracy, everybody has a right uh, to be protected, and the police, kung pinagbibintangan nyo ang police, they, are, they carry guns, as well as our military, but more so the police, they carry guns because we allow them to, because they're supposed to protect us. But when they violate the social contract between the state and the citizen, and they use the weapon, to kill others, or for that matter, to intimidate others, don't you think that you can win little battles like that and then work up to an impression by the country na may laban pala? Kung paglalaban nyo, we cannot just sit and create a haymaker. Pero once in a while, if you do that and get a policeman and a 
na maril o naglabas ng baril o nanakot at uh, pinasok yung bahay na walang kwang. Then you single that out and then you really come out with an investigation report. Hindi lang yung what is, uh, I don't want to use a sexist remark or I already did, a gender remark uh, na parang because yun ang tumatalab sa tao, hindi na tumatalab eh. That is what I'm worried about in this country. We cannot have a people that accepts killing as the solution. I want to be clear on that, four square. My father was assassinated. I could have killed the people who had him killed, and I knew them. But I took up law to be able to understand that. And to my mind, that is one of the things that Human Rights Commission must foster in the universities, in the grade schools, in the high schools. It's a long, long way around. But at least when you do that and let them know na kaya natin ang gawin yan, na labada natin unti-unti yan, I think that will be a budget well spent. And I think that will change uh, the mindset of people. Instead of going for the big time. You know, I, I take offense sometimes. Uh, one of our colleagues have been incarcerated. Initially, I was very supportive of her. But then, you know, when I get all the evidence sometimes, I don't want to put it out here. I think Senator Luxon knows what I'm talking about uh, and all, all the others. But, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather get what I can get right away. Get half a loaf first before you take the full loaf. Because if we don't do that, lalong fear factor na mamaga, lalong natatakot ang tao. Because culturally and historically, our people have been raised on the fact na wala kang laban dyan, malaki yung mga talaba mo, mayayaman yan, nasa kapangyarihan yan, mga uh, elitista yung mga yan, wala kang laban. So the more you show and propagandize na they get away with murder, the more people are fearful. And that's why I have nothing but full admiration, again, at the risk of my visa being forced, uh, removed in China. I have a lot of admiration for the Hong Kong Chinese, the young people. They're young. You were, I think, almost in that time when I was there in UP, the first quarter storm. You followed us later. And there were people who were doing that. Unfortunately, some were being utilized also, as far as I'm concerned. And this is my own by the left. And some of them were really I think some of them were uh, deliberately killed para magkaroon ng martyrs. I'm very, very frank. I'm not afraid to say what's on my mind. But sometimes you create martyrs, and then, you know, tapos hindi na mas absolve. What did they do? So, my advice, if I may be given uh, the privilege of giving unsolicited advice, is that hopefully this year you start going against people who are abused, where you can win. You can help us win, for example, with propagandizing, and that's why I'm always saying, if I had uh, resources, maybe I can ask the sponsor. Maybe, you know, a while ago, I was listening uh, uh, in propagandizing, uh, uh, advertising, advertising, that we must advertise what we do para people will know that there is something going on and that they can participate. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe later on, uh, we can create an amendment that there should be a certain percentage of the budget, especially of front agencies, uh, to be able to explicitate in a proper manner uh, how citizens can go after abuses of human rights. Of course you'll agree. <laughs> of course, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, Mr. President, because I, I, I really would just like to state that for the record. Uh, we can have a human rights commission all the time, but you're not expected to solve the problem, but you can start by doing the little things. And as you build up on the little things, you can educate, and hopefully, eventually, uh, we will not be regarded as a rogue country by some people who are uppity up and who don't have the kind of problems we do have here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank President. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Tolentino. <clears throat>